Hey, let's say do a quick search here on YouTube, how to build a junk removal website. Well, 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 one of the first videos in on here is this handsome devil right here that's showing people how to build out a junk removal website. Let's say I go back and update my strategy and my new way of building out a junk removal website, how to structure it correctly, because this is completely outdated. What's up there guys, this is here once again with Get Busy LLC, helping local businesses, contractors, and home service businesses to understand the internet, SEO, and get their business found online to generate more leads for their business. So in this video, I wanna talk about going back to a video I made, looks, looks like it shows right here three years ago, and how I talked to junk removal business owners on how they should structure their website to generate leads for their business. Now, the reason I wanted to do this because I looked up the other day, I was just decided to go on YouTube and take a look and see where some of my videos are ranking and things like that. And I saw this video, it's so old now, it's funny to see it. I'm recording in my backyard. I'm just using this, the camera on my computer. I think I had a Dell computer at the time. I was using the microphone on the, on the computer itself. So it's poor quality, whatever it was. But on the video, I talk about how you should structure your website, but I wanted to do is uh, make a video to update the strategy behind that. Because believe it or not, the junk removal industry and a lot of industries have caught wind of this SEO stuff, website structure, Google business profile, and what it takes to get a business ranking towards the top. So I wanted to make an update of how you should structure your junk removal business website if that's the industry that you're in. But a lot of the information I'm going to talk about on here is completely relatable to any industry. It doesn't matter, like, say, if you're a, a paving contractor or if you're a home remodel contractor or if you're a carpet cleaning business or if you are a plumber, HVAC, roofer, all of the same strategy, same concept, same philosophy applies to how you should structure your website based on what I know now and I continue to learn about SEO, website design, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you should structure your junk removal website. If somebody hired me out to do one today, like this day, this is exactly how I would map it out, how I would tell them my recommendations, how they, once this is all structured out, hook it up to the Google business profile, start kicking ass and getting reviews, upload pictures, do all that good stuff, and push that listing towards the top of those uh, Google map listing in that three pack. So let me show you exactly how it's structured website these days. So knowing what I know now about website design and SEO and getting a business ranked on Google, the very first thing I wanna do is figure out this business owner's category. So the whole point of building out this website for you, if you're a junk removal business owner, a deck builder, a home improvement, a plumber, HVAC, the entire purpose of it, in my opinion, should be to push that Google business profile to the top into that three pack of Google. Cause I tell people that's where the vast, vast majority of clicks go for any type of service. I was just talking to somebody today on the phone. If I needed to clean out my garage and get rid of everything in that damn thing and just clean that shit out. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in junk removal service near me, click on my phone on Google and whatever shows up in that three pack, those three guys are going to get first calls for my business. So that's the whole purpose of it. So if the business owners even have a listing, more like if I'm going to work with the guy. But let's say that they are. The very first thing I want to know is what categories have they selected on their business profile? So for the vast majority of junk removal business owners, it's usually, of course, this is pretty simple. Junk removal service. Believe it or not, this category didn't even exist like three years ago. Demolition contractor, debris removal, uh, waste management services, and garbage collection services. The reason I've add, I recommend now house clearance services, because I looked under Google, Technically, Google sees that as somebody goes in and cleans out a house, cleans out that kind of stuff. So this is perfect for a lot of junk removal business owners that like to do estate cleanouts, recent move out cleanouts, eviction cleanouts. It's perfect, right? Some offer dumpster rental. For example, this business owner offers dumpster rental. So you, this is what the categories that you keep in mind that you're thinking about when you're building out the website. This is how it structure the website based on this, which is a, what a junk removal website is going to look like anyways. So what happens is that Google... When you set up these categories, what the Google will do is give you all of these categories, sections to fill out on the Google business profile, like this one here, all of these categories and underneath of all of the categories that Google gives you, it gives you service pages or services under these categories. So there you go. There's the outline of your website. Google has given it to you. How nice of them, right? 
So knowing all of this, this is exactly how I would structure my website. Let me show you guys the outline of how I would map the whole damn thing out. Okay, so here's how I would map up the entire website and structure it in a way where Google understands that we're trying to match whatever we placed on that Google business profile. So let's go ahead and pretend that this is a junk removal business in Fresno, California. Pretty good sized town. You're going to need a lot of pages. Very, very competitive out there. So this is how I would map it out. So the entire central theme of the website is, of course, the primary junk removal services in Fresno. So, of course, I would put in junk removal services in Fresno as the main central theme of the entire website. So this would be the home page. I, of course, make a contact page and about page, typical crap that you need on a website. And then from the home page out there, based on the categories that I just mentioned to you, I would start to branch out and build out pages and categories and sub services based on what I just showed you. So under the category of demolition contractor, I would build a page solely focused on demolition contractor in Fresno. From this page, I would branch off and go into the various things that I demo. Hot tubs, storage sheds, fence, deck, small structure, shed. You can build as many pages as you want based on what you put on that Google business profile. So all of these would be under the umbrella of demolition contractor. All these pages would link back to this page right here, which this page links back to the junk removal main theme of, of the central theme of this website. Now you have to think about too, if you're a junk removal business owner, you're gonna have to build out pages for every little obscure thing out there. So why not organize it in ways where it kind of matches the Google business profile. So now from the home page, I'm gonna branch out to another service page that says debris removal in Fresno. It matches that category of Google and the location. And from the debris removal page is gonna be a page of like a thousand words, 1500 words, that branches off into subcategories of debris removal, just like construction debris, concrete removal debris, asphalt debris, roofing debris, a renovation cleanup debris. Uh, what else did I put on here? I can't read it because I'm going blind now. Whatever, you know, whatever you can think of under the category of debris removal and all of these pages link back to this one. Now, let's say almost every junk removal business owner loves doing property cleanups because they're big money. So you branch out and build a page for house clearance property cleanout services in Fresno, California. So you build a page that talks about the various cleanings that you do in regards to house cleanouts, things like that. So property eviction. Uh, estate cleanouts, hoarder cleanouts, all that stuff. And then what you're going to do from there is you branch out and start building pages under the category of house clearouts, clearance services. So like I said, estate cleanout, hoarder, move in out eviction, foreclosure. Uh, I even added like garage, basement cleanouts, and everything under the category of this right here. And then you have another page for waste management services, and you can do stuff like house cleanouts. I mean, office cleanouts, commercial junk removal, things like that. And then from the home page itself, I'm going to build out pages that are related to junk removal services like appliance removal. And then from the appliance removal page, I branch off into we remove fridges, we remove washers and dryers, we remove dishwashers, we remove old water heaters, whatever it might be. Then you branch off from the junk removal to furniture removal, to household items, uh, that sort of stuff. And then these branch out to subcategories of this page. So what you're doing is building out a shit ton of pages and building topical relevance. Google wants to know if you know your shit. So that's exactly what I'm doing with the website. That's exactly how I would structure it. Now, let me show you with my template how it would look technically. So let's say I used this website design, this template to build out this junk removal business page in Fresno. We are, this is all just generic stuff. You just fill in the blanks. Usually I fill it in for people that hire me to do this stuff for them. Uh, we are the best junk removal service in Fresno, California. See how it's the service in the main Google business profile category, the primary category. That's your keyword for your location. And then all the content here would be about junk removal service, the various services, what makes you different, why we kick ass at what we do. Here's the here is a quick summary of all the services included with our junk removal services right here. And you're going to see this is the secondary. And this is this is where you're going to see. Let's pretend that this was what did I say it was? Demolition contractor services, right? So let's say we do demolition contractor services under this category. So when you click on this, now you're going to have demolition contractor in Fresno. 
and you're going to have like a thousand, fifteen hundred words of content. Talk about all the demolition that you do. And under this, you're going to have under this category, we demo hot tubs. We demo storage sheds. We demo above ground pools. We demo kitchens. We demo so-and-so. And these will branch off into those smaller pages like I mapped out right here. All right. So let's pretend that this is now the concrete removal page. So we concrete removal page in concrete removal in Fresno, California. This is what we do. We remove concrete. Here's a quick little template I've created for these smaller sub sub pages. And it talks about the concrete removal process and all that good stuff. And then this page will link back just like I showed on my diagram here. I should link right back to this one here, just like this. Boom. All right. And then let's say house clearance services. So let's go ahead and pretend that we're back here to the home page. This is secondary GMB category number three, house clearance services. House, so house clearance services, property cleanouts in Fresno, California. And you go down here, it's just going to show uh, eviction cleanouts, estate cleanouts, um, hoarder cleanouts, recent move out cleanouts. We clean out garages, we clean out basements, things like that. So let's say this one branches off into we do hoarder cleanouts. And then you can have a page about hoarder cleanouts, just like this guy diagram, right? Let's say it's a and then this will page will link right back to this one. So on here, I'm gonna have a link that points right back somewhere in here. There it goes. Goes right back into my GMB category, the third category of business. That's how I would do it. And then when it comes to just uh, just run of the mill junk removal services, I would have it under here a main service like appliance removal, we remove fridges, we remove washers and dryers, we remove dishwashers. Another main service, we do commercial junk removal, we clean out offices, we clean out retail stores, we clean out whatever it might be. And then you just go on and on and on and on. You build out pages after pages after pages. And before you know it, you have a 30, 40, 50 page website. That's exactly how I would do it. And after I do all of this stuff, what I would end up doing is then I would create like a location page a location. We do these junk removal services in Fresno and all this Central Valley or whatever it might be. Here's the primary locations that I do my junk removal services in. And these will branch off into many versions of the homepage here to target more geographical areas. So I hope that makes sense. This is exactly how I would build a junk removal website these days. I wanted to make an update as to that video that basically showed like five pages. Now, the crazy thing about all this is even if you were to build a website like this, um, you probably wouldn't need it as much in a town with like I say, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people, maybe 30,000. Uh, and you gotta go in there and take a look at the competition. Junk removal has really increased over the years and the number of businesses listed and the people building out sites and all that good stuff. So nowadays, if I'm building the junk removal business, I'm not even gonna mess around. I'm gonna go in there swinging. I'm gonna build a page just like this, start off with like 30 to 40 pages right up from the get go structure a website just like this, make sure it's interlinked correctly, make sure all of those service pages matches the categories I have listed on my Google business profile. So that's the way I would build a junk removal website these days and get that thing to rank towards the top of Google's map listings where all the money and all the clicks go for local services. Now, will all of that take some work? Oh, hell yeah, absolutely is going to take some work. And you have to remember that every single page has to be SEO optimized, meaning it has to have the title tag set up correctly, the meta description, H1 title tag, H2s, the H3s, the content, all of this stuff. It doesn't matter if it's a hot tub removal page and a old water heater removal page, whatever it is, every single page has to be SEO optimized to make sure that Google will crawl it. And there's methods of making sure Google crawls all those pages. What I mean by crawl it and index, it means it put, puts it in its filing cabinets, puts it in an index on Google online. And of course, you're going to need other things. You're going to need backlinks to point to the main central theme of the same, the main URL of your website, get local chamber of commerce links, get links donating to a kid's soccer team, a kid's baseball team, t-ball league, donating to a church, to donating to an event. Uh, wherever you can find places that will provide a link in their on their website that's locally relevant in that location that points back to your business and that really shows shows to google that you are in that local area you got to get those reviews you got to upload pictures all that stuff and that should really 
get this sucker ranking to the top of that map pack of listings of Google, especially if you own a place like Fresno, California, that's something that you're going to need. Now, like I said, if you're going to just target one of the smaller towns around Fresno, that's like 50,000 people, you might only need like six, maybe nine, 10 pages, something like that. You don't need much, but once you get more competitive, um, you got to get in the ring and put in a lot of pages. Like I said, if right from the get go, I would just do it. Screw it with the cost of Google ads. Um, marketing on Facebook and all this other stuff. It's super expensive, all that stuff. So you might as well just build it right from the get-go, get something really good going, push that listing to the top and start generating some leads that way. And this is reworks. This works remarkably well in other industries too. Um, especially non-competitive ones. Like uh, I was just talking to somebody like for concrete, if you're a concrete contractor, shit, you probably need like six pages and you're good to go when it comes to something like that. So if you guys want to, this template, instructions on how to write all the content. I have ChatGPT prompts to help me write all this my content, structure the website, the design, the SEO, all this stuff. Um, it's all in the description below. You guys could check that out. If you guys don't deal with want to deal with any of this crap, you just want somebody to build this stuff out for you. And like I said, you don't have to build out the pages of one get-go. You can you know, stagger them out monthly, you know, four or five, six pages every single month, getting links, all this. That's typically that's what SEO really is. Any anybody else tells you different, they're just kind of blowing smoke up your ass. So if you guys want any of that, all the links are in the description below. Uh, get pricing on my website designs, that the training course, the template, all that good stuff. It's in the description below. And for any of you guys that kind of want to know where I got my start and learning all this stuff and building out websites and that's SEO stuff, I created a video not too long. You can check that out right here. My journey with the rank and rent. It's what it's taught me about building out websites and ranking them here at the top of Google. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Till next time.